Okay, this is the how-to video for creating your class Facebook page. Um, now this Facebook page will be connected to your personal account. However, your, your personal friends won't be able to see the page unless they like it. And the people who like your page cannot see your personal information. So they are separate in that um, instance. Now over here on the there we go. Over here on the left hand side we have a pages um, section. You'll see my page is right there. Um, pretty much everybody should have a like pages um, option here. Uh, you can click that and then up here in the at the top you'll see a green button that says create page. Now under create page you'll want to click company, organization, or institution. You'll choose the category education and then here you're going to enter your company name now we all want to start with TCA and then here you're going to enter your specific subject that um, is going to be the Facebook page so if it's algebra 1 you enter algebra 1 if it's chemistry then you would put chemistry so whatever subject you're creating it for you want to put that here and you do want to be specific because um, two people cannot have the same title of Facebook page. So we're just going to say TCA sample. And I think it has to be lowercase. TCA sample. And then agree to the terms and conditions and get started. Okay, now you'll have the option here to upload your profile picture, but you can always skip this step for later. So you can do that now or later. Just either upload from your computer or import it. Then you're, you'll have your about section. Here is where you're just going to give a brief um, description of what your Facebook page is. Uh, for example, um, what I put on here was something along the lines of the fact that this Facebook page gives the students interactive access to the classroom from home. Um, if you're going to be uploading videos of your lessons, you can mention that here. Um, you know, pretty much just basically what you're designing the page for. Uh, student interaction um, is encouraged, and that's something that I have I uh, talked about on my page as well. So you can basically just enter a description of your page and then it'll ask you will this page represent a real organization, school, or government? The answer is yes. So you would want to check yes and then you could save the info there. Then your third step is going to be setting up ads, um, enabling ads. And I went ahead and just, um, you know, chose not to do that just because it can kind of clog up your page with ads. And that is it. That's how you set up your Facebook page um, for your class. And then after you're done with that, it's just all about customizing it. Um, like I said, if you haven't uploaded your profile picture by now, you know, now would be the time to do it. Um, you can upload your profile picture here. Uh, you can upload a cover photo that could be specific to your class. So if it's math, you could find a cool image on Google and paste it in there for your cover photo. Um, and, you know, one thing that I wanted to do with my profile picture is, you know, make it personal. So I uploaded a picture of my family and, um, you know, I was hoping that that would maybe help me connect with my parents and help them see that I'm a real nice person and that type of thing. So a um, couple of other teachers have posted pictures uh, with their students, so you can kind of get creative on how you want to customize it. Um, one other thing that I did was I just went ahead and my first status update was to my students. Hey, students, like this page for bonus points on your, on your next quiz or test. And they were really excited about that, and it drove a lot of traffic to the site um, very quickly. Uh, within a couple of days, almost all of my students had liked the Facebook page. We're starting to interact with each other, um, comment on the videos and that type of thing. So um, it got running up and running a lot quicker um, with that type of incentive. Uh, other than that, up here, I was going to show one more thing. You know, you can hide all of the admin panel um, so that it looks just like the page that anybody else would see. 
And then, of course, you have your edit page option up here um, that you can also just kind of customize it a little bit more. Uh, thank you very much for listening to how to create a class Facebook page.